It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Houston Texans. And it's coming up next. On a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas, the roof is open and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Houston Texans. Brandon Gordon joined, as always, by Charles Davis. Uh, CD, it's been a tough few years here in Houston. Four, four, and three. Those are their win totals the last three seasons. But in is D'Amico Ryan's as head coach. What do you think he brings to the table? And it's interesting you brought up the number three because D'Amico Ryan's is the third head coach in three seasons for this team. What he brings to the table, toughness, organization, and hope. He wanted to be the head coach of the Houston Texans, the team he played for. And then for the visiting Saints, you know, most people might not realize this. You talk about defenses against the pass last year. The Eagles Super Bowl team, they were number one, but coming in at number two, these New Orleans Saints. Remember, they're led by a defensive-minded head coach, and he plans really well on that side of the ball. Want to see if they can continue that and find some firepower moving the ball on offense. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. This fielded right at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's going to take some time to adjust to seeing Carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver. It's black and gold. 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Gets this complete to Shahid and past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 25 yards that time. Play action here on the first play from scrimmage. They want to see how plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge and they're going to get one. The previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. First down. That'll be taken in by Shahid. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. This second and four. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon Alave motioning to the left and he'll get it here on the jet sweep and a promising start as he'll get it up to the 29 yard line 11 yards there just like last play 
Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. No one a move. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now Carr. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. On first down, Carr. That's complete right around the eight. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Carr going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Michael Thomas. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Right on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback, the second overall pick from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. In only two seasons, Stroud showed all he needed to at Ohio State. All-American, Heisman finals, program records galore. He looked every bit like the number one overall pick. He went number two, but Houston is thrilled to have him. A man coming off a great rookie year, it's Damian Pierce. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Play action. Stroud now. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah. 
Here's Stroud. Looking for Woods again, and he finds him. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. Play action. Here's Stroud. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. And if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. First and 10, it's Pierce. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside. Stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. Stroud going to Woods, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, They'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. Now after the INT, it's Carr. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, Camaro. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A quality run by Kamara, who's the same dependable and often spectacular back the Saints drafted in 2017. Another season of nearly 900 yards rushing and 500 receiving yards. Throwing on first down is Carr. Thomas has got it, complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Derek Carr, very precise thrower of the football. What's the game plan for going up against him? Yeah, it used to be take away the short stuff, I know, but he's more than a dink and dunker, right? And you are right about that. Great analysis of him because he has evolved as a thrower. Now he can push the ball downfield, but still, the number one things you want to take away, short passes, intermediate passes. So sharp, precise, and accurate, you've got to sit on those routes in order to cause him problems. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Calling a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. 
Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. What's the deal, y'all? So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Camara will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. The time called here because a member of the Texans is in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the two now, second and goal. They'll run it with Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara taking it in from two yards out. And the Saints are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Nico Collins, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. A shotgun snap to Stroud. That's into the hands of Woods. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Now Stroud finds his man, it's John Mechie. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you throw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. So you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. 
He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Texans first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So first and 10 now from the 30. Stroud sets up the play action. That's complete. It's Collins. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Here's Pierce. Will take this one in for a Texans touchdown. So part of it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Damian Pierce closing things out with a touchdown run. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. It's second and inches at the 35-yard line. Now they'll toss it out right to Kamara. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He lost four there, and it's third down. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two. Here is third down and four, as they've got it as we resume action. Card out of throw. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and the Texans will take over. Houston set to take over. 
For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Here's second and 10. Stroud to throw it. And a quick throw there is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Stroud looking to throw. Forced out to his left. That almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. This is taken at the 23. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 26. He'll start with a give to Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. But derailing that play from the start was Christian Harris. He got back there and stuck him for a loss behind a lot of scrimmage. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. On play action, now Carr. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Throwing his car on third down. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. That's taken on the 25. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And here comes the Texans now. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. the ground it's Pierce to begin the drive and he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30 and that's all nice run defense presented there and what I mean by that is discipline guys filling the right gaps in the right holes no one over pursuing and making a very nice play second and nine Stroud will run the option left and he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. 
Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Now here's Stroud. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Concentration, so key on a ball like that. It's hard. I know how difficult it is, but that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. On is the punter, Johnston, now as he sends this one away. And he fields it cleanly. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. Alvin Kamara, touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Point after try, forthcoming. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And now out comes Houston. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. On first down, here's Stroud. Throw right side, taken in by Collins. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Here's Pierce on the counter. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Stroud working out of the gun. That's to the sideline and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. 
And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. The car is throw complete there to Thomas. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. To throw its car. Crossing route catch made by Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That's a good looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed and pretty well executed there. A 10th carry for Camara. Down to about the 45. And they'll come up second and seven. Now Carr. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Denzel Perryman with a sack. That's a step in the right direction defensively here because you're facing this sizable deficit. They're going to need more plays like that. A good sack though, good effort there. And what you're hoping is, as you said, a step in the right direction. And that means it's something to build on. So you get the first one, and hopefully that can ignite them. And now they can make a few more plays and get back into this game. Carr, he's got his target. That's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Kamara up the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Two yards to go, second down. Toss play, Camaro, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. But they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Carr. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Here's Carr. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. 
Now we got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. The Saints on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and goal. On play action, it's Carr. Touchdown, New Orleans. Juwan Jadson from six yards away. And the Saints have moved out in front by three touchdowns. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. The extra point splits the uprights and the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And the Texans set to come onto the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. From the 22 now, here's second down and seven. Here's Stroud. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Stroud now on first and 10. He's got his man. It's the tight end, Brevin Jordan. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 41, this is second and a yard. Throwing now is Stroud. Right side complete to Mechie. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Stroud to the air on first and 10. He's going to air it out deep for Woods. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Second and 10. Throwing again is Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Sideline throw. 
it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. On first down, Carr. Here's Johnson with a reception. A big play there just before halftime. 58 yards. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone to throw his car touchdown Saints third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr and the Saints are able to add on to their first half lead that score that they just gave up there that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters they really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Now the try here for the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Texans with the football here late in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. He'll complete this one to Collins. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, here's Stroud. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints are gonna have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. I believe this is what you would call growing pains here, partner, because this defense obviously took the challenge facing the rookie, and they wanted to help indoctrinate him to the NFL. So now the big question is, can he answer that challenge and rebound with plenty of time remaining in this game? And the Saints going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. So 
So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Crucial foul, roughing the passers, defense. As a quarterback, you got to be cautious. You got to understand where the pressure is going to come from. This time, it's a cornerback coming after him. And this time, the cornerback just a bit late getting to him. The penalty assessed. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Now Carr. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Kamara off the draw. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And his kick is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a solid first half from the veteran running back, Alvin Kamara. He's over 100 yards rushing for the game already and found the end zone twice as well. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Texans going to take over here to start quarter number three. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know, as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, 
that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. At the 31-yard line. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Stroud to throw it. Right side complete. That's Woods. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Stroud out of the gun here. His throw incomplete. Now a second and ten. And Stroud now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Stroud. And that is incomplete. Ah, just more frustration here offensively, and you can see it in their play and now in their body language. You know they were hoping to put a drive together to begin this third quarter, but it's just not clicking right now. It's going to be a quick call to the punt team. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead, before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 123 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Now a play fake, Carr. Thomas brings it in. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game. And this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, right at the 40. On play action, now Carr. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Now Carr throwing on second down. On the check down, he finds Kamara. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Again, it's Carr. That is caught, and he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 22-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. 
This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Throwing on first down is Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Carr again here on second and ten. Off to Thomas on the left side. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now Carr, work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Saints are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. I like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit him quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now Carr. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Car now to throw. Pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked, and multiple players broke through the line to get an impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run, and of course, get to the quarterback. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Take it at about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Another carry for Pierce. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. 
That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Hand off, left side, Pierce. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were. And you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. First and 10, it's Stroud. He finds his target, it's Schultz. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Here's Stroud. That's caught again by Schultz. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Stroud's throw taken in by Collins. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome. But completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Stroud. Touchdown, Texans! Robert Woods, 26 yards. And the Texans are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game, but they come back and make them later on. They miss tackles, right? They miss making plays but his spotlight is magnified on your quarterback. And when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier, they feel great about that guy. And likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Michael Thomas now heading back onto the field. He's having a day here in quarter number three. Over 100 yards, couple touchdowns. Every receiver's hope for when they head into that game in the National Football League. And his team is loving what he's giving them. Of course, the yardage is terrific, but I think it's what you mentioned, the two touchdowns. That's the big one because he's paying off his results downfield. And still more time here. Third quarter, we'll see what else he has in store for us. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuck the run. Car to throw on second down. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. 
After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Carr to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw, it's Carr. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. Second and 10. Thanks for tagging along with us here from Houston, Texas. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, the offense has had a big day. He's been great running the football, but I don't think anybody liked that last result. No, they didn't like the last result at all, but they have to look at it in total, don't they? They've had a big day running the football. You take an occasional loss or an occasional bad play along the way, but all in all, they have to like what they've done. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. the former Buffalo Bill, Devin Singletary. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Brian Brzee, the man to bring him down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Throwing now is Stroud. Now they go screen. It's complete. He's got room past the 30, and he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. Well, a lot of ground left to make up, obviously, a lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. Now second and five. And they'll go right back to Pierce. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Stroud to throw it. 
Throw left side complete. That's Pierce. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Two yards on the pickup there, and that's going to bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. And Stroud now to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And the Saints are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. Carr going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10, right at the 30. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara gets through, and now an opening. And this will wind up a Saints first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And Kamara's going to have a Saints first down as he'll get this down to the 47-yard line. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Oh, oh, why are we doing this? So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. 167 yards rushing for him now to this point. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. 
They did that, plus three. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. On third down, here's Camaro. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. Who moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? That false start knocks him back behind the 10 now as they'll try again first and goal. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Still a ways from the end zone as they come up now on second and goal. In motion right, Alave. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. This has been a long drive. You gotta figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. 11 yards, but still not enough. Fourth down. Nice completion, nice gain. Great tackle. Really good tackle. Kept him in bounds, kept things going. What do you do here? That's the question. Let's see what they do. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. Here we go with Kamara. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. They gave it to him in search of his third touchdown, but he's denied. And this Texans defense comes up with a goal line stand. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow, talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them, you won't hear a people protest out of them. That's just who they are. First and ten, it's Pierce. And I don't know if he made it out of the end zone. No signal. Yes, it's a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Fielded just inside the 30. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Carr going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at the 34. He'll start with a give to Kamara. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. 
Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. A free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Kamara gets it again on second down. There he goes again. He may go. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. A big play there out of Kamara, 62 yards. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Camara will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Point after here coming up. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Houston set to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, OK, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Here's a second and five. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Over the middle complete. That's Schultz. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30-point play in that playbook, but... They can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Stroud. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. The throwing again is Stroud. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Demario Davis picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Talk about two sides of the ball across purposes, because mercifully, this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still want to get a few shots in. The front seven, 
They've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats, and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Trying to run down some clock with Kamara. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Again, it's Kamara. And Kamara's going to have a Saints first down as he'll get this up past the 40. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission. Uh, I you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.